are. So again, just a kettlebell and the mat today. I'm going to back it up. So I'm in the full screen. We're going to hit legs and we are going to hit core. Lots of pulls today, lots of strength, and very kind of little rest. We will rest at the end of the long circuit, but for the most part, we sort of want to be passively moving and engaging the muscles on each of the rest periods. So for now, just shaking off the cobwebs, waking up the muscles, and get ready to rock and roll. Light on the toes. Five. Four. Three. Two and one, right into those butt kicks. So really, no cardio today. The idea is that the very little, the small rest periods, so no rest periods, and uh, the constant movement of the lower body. That's going to give us that challenge. That's going to increase the heart rate and push it a little bit. Five, four, three, two. And one, start in with those high kicks. So getting those toes as high up as you can. Nice straight legs here. And really just start to pay attention to what needs a little extra stretching, a little extra movement this morning before we rock and roll. Legs should start to feel awake. Muscles should start to loosen up. And mentally, you should just be a little bit more and more ready to kick butt. Let's go three. Let's go two. And let's go one. And then right into those knees to chest. So right knee in, squeeze nice and tight. Big open and drop. Starting to find a little bit of balance here. For the most part, we'll have both feet on the ground, but there will be a couple of instances here where we're doing sort of single-sided exercises. So starting to sort of lock in the control from the core right here. And down, let's go one more each side. And drop, making sure you pull that knee all the way in. Big open and drop. Shake the legs out. Nice wide stance here. Arms up and out to the side and just start with some gentle pulls. We'll rock through this upper body stretch. And then we're going to open up the obliques as well before we get going here. Keep the wrist nice and high. Start to pull a little bit deeper into that stretch. As if someone is sort of holding onto the fingertips and pulling at the very far end. Let's go a quick three. Through the center, over for two. And one last pull. Go ahead and square the hips off and right into those toe touches. Again, taking it nice and easy to get going. And then as you feel the hamstrings and the lower back loosen up, you can start to draw the chest a little bit lower into the stretch, a little bit lower, a little bit lower getting deeper into that work. Slowing things down just a little bit, just so you have enough time to really move through the entire range of motion. Let's go down for three. Up through the center, down for two. One more reach. And then go ahead and stand up nice and tall. Let's hit the inner thighs. So take that deep breath in. Reach for the ceiling. Push your butt back behind you and reach for the ground. And all you're going to do here is sort of alternate soft knees. So over to the right, up through the center, and over to the left. Purposefully keeping the feet flat on the ground. So that you can feel the stretch through the inner thighs. And just sort of wake everything up. Again, you want to keep the body moving. Let's go three. Two. And one. 
up to the center, walk the heels in, toes in, all the way to the center of the body, and then roll those shoulders up towards the ceiling and shake it out. So again, you're going to want a single kettlebell, and you are going to want a mat, a workout mat, and that's all you need for today. We're going to work, again, through some isometric pulls, some dynamic movement, and then a lot of core work, even from the get-go, even when we're really doing the lower body focus portion of this, okay? So I'm going to give a couple of different varieties here to start off, um, and you can sort of go with the flow, either stick with the first variety, get deeper into a movement, anything like that, sort of just test your body, push the limits a little bit. What we're going to start with... It's just a goblet squat hold. So kettlebells up at chest height, and you're down in that squat. Again, your choice here if you want to go halfway or all the way into that squat. It's really just how your legs are feeling this morning, okay? So again, very few rests. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold. We're going to move through the squat. So up, down, up, down. And then that rest period is active rest. So... This is going to be a standing plank to start us off. To finish us off, we're going to do a regular plank as the active rest. But it's exactly what you would think about, right? Gripping the handle of the kettlebell, tucking that tailbone, kind of finding that hollow body position, and just squeezing all of those muscles as you stand, okay? So again, kettlebells up. We're going to start with a squat. Kettlebells up in that goblet squat position, fingers Facing forward, plant the heels, plant the toes. Go ahead and find that squat position. So we're just going to start with a hold. Make sure the butt is back. And again, you're sort of as deep as is comfortable for you here. When I say go, you're just going to move right into that dynamic squat. So really just a regular up-down movement in four, three, two, and one. All the way through. So the idea here is that you sort of get to the end of that isometric hold and you're totally ready to start moving. It almost feels like a blessing to just move the legs. Getting ready for our first standing plank, our first active rest. Three, two, and one. Kettlebells forward and lock it in. It just takes a lot of focus to draw your attention in. Exercise two is going to be a deadlift. So that hold is going to be slight bent knees at the bottom portion of the deadlift. Squeeze everything nice and tight. Think nice straight back. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and push the butt back. And just find that hold. You want to find that stretch. So again, nice straight back here. No arch at all. We're going to hit legs a few times before we work our way down to the mat. Get ready to move in three, two, and one. Here we go. Squeeze the glutes, draw the hips forward. So can you sort of reach that time where you're just ready to move. Those isometric holds bring in a lot of strength. Get ready for our standing plank in three, two, and one. Nice and tall. All right, so exercise three. We're going to go right leg lunge. And what we're going to do is we're going to sort of hold that kettlebell up here. It's almost as if we were going to do a shoulder press. So get into position with me as if you were going to do a push press, right? Right foot forward, left foot behind, down and hold. Keep that kettlebell nice and close to the body. This time through, when we start to move, we're just going to do that split stance squat. So your right leg stays where it is, your left leg stays where it is, and you're just going to move up and down. That's in three, two, and one. Here we go. Up and down. So keep your feet planted right where they are. Yeah, nice. Excellent. This is a nice live stance. Getting ready for our next standing plank. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it forward. There's that standing plank. Only thing we're changing is size. For now, I want you to tuck the tailbone, tighten that core. So without sucking in, pull your belly button in towards your spine. That's the tightness that we're going for. All right, go ahead and load up for the left side. Two, and one. We're down in that hole. Again, nice big stance here. And when we start to move, it's just that simple up-down movement. Hold tight. 
four, three, two, and one, up, down. We're gonna use our next sort of active recovery time to actually head down to the mat to get ready for some glute bridges. So we actually do get ourselves a little bit of a break coming up here. Five, four, three, two, and one. There it is. All right. Kettlebell just off to the side. We have a few exercises before we are done. Down on the mat, getting ready for some glute bridges. This is where we're going to start. So again, we're going to press the hips up to the ceiling. That's our isometric hold. In three, two, and one. Go ahead and press up. And we're going to hold in this position. We're going to move from this into dynamics of just a moving glute bridge. And then we're actually going to come back into this hold as our active breath. Get ready for some movement in three, two, and one. Here we go. Touch. Hip down, and then squeeze the glutes, and right back up to the top. Again, our active rest here is going to be back into that glute bridge hold. Keep going, three, two, and one, lift and hold. Let's bring in some abs here. So, next exercise, we're going to be holding a side plank, so on your right side, Hold the plank position. I'll touch you on to switch into that. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and switch over. Right arm down, up into that side plank position. So we're going to hold. And then when I say go, that dynamic movement, you're going to tap the hip down to the mat and right back up. Keep the hips high. Three, two, and one. Tap the right hip down and right back up. Our active rest when we're on the mat here for these last couple of exercises is going to be an elbow plank. So we're just taking that standing plank, bringing it right back down to the mat. In three, two, and one. Shift it over into that elbow plank. So there's a bit of that plank challenge built into the workout. All you're going to do is keep turning the body for the next side plank on the left side. Four, three, two, and one. Left side plank. I'm just going to shift here so I can see. And again, hold those hips high. This is a nice hold. Hollow body. Looking to draw in some core work here. Get ready for dynamic movement in three, two, and one. Hips down and lift right back up. We have one more elbow plank, and then we're actually going to take a real deal break and head back to the top of the workout. Keep pushing. Four, three, two, and one. Elbow plank. Finish it up. Finish the round up. Nice and strong here. Hips stay low, back stay straight, and you're pulling the abs in towards your spine. Take a deep breath in. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and drop the knees and shake everything out. We're going to start back up at the top of the circuit. But we are going to take a little bit of a break here. Give ourselves a little time to shake it off and drop some water. Woo! All right. Even during this longer rest period, you want to keep the body moving. Grab some water. And then we're going to start back on our feet with a little bit of leg movement. We're going to be back into that squat hold. And again, this is your choice here. You get as low into that squat as you can. The only thing I ask is that the full dynamic squat, you're getting that butt as low as you can. It's okay if the hold's a little bit higher, but the full squat, I want deep, great mobility here. Here we go. Kettlebells up. Two. And one. Find that hold. Push that butt back. Keep the knees over the toes. Solid form all the way through. That's what we're looking for here. 
We're going to get ready for some dynamic movement. And remember, deep squats here. Three, two, and one. All the way up and all the way down. So we're back to the top. Again, we're looking at coming up on that standing plank. So you really have to tighten the focus. Keep your mind connected to the body. Four, three, two, and one. Stand up nice and tall and lock in that rest period. Tight, tight, tight. You should feel this from the bottom of your core all the way to the rib cage. We're getting ready for a deadlift. So remember the hold is at the bottom of the movement in four, three, two, and one. Here we go. What you should be feeling right now is that stretch through the hamstrings. So a little bit of a bend in the knees is just fine right here. Hold steady, nice straight back. You should be able to really feel your core doing some work at this point. Three, two, and one. Squeeze the glutes. And we're moving into that full deadlift now. Pushing the butt back behind you. Soft knees here. We're looking to balance out front and back. Push the hips back. Squeeze the glutes. Draw them forward. Three, two, and one. Up nice and tall. Back into that active plank. Excuse me, that active rest standing plank. All right, so we're back to our lunge sequence. We're going to be in that sort of shoulder press hold. Right leg starts forward. Go ahead and load up. Right foot forward, left foot back. Here we go. Now, our dynamic movement is going to change a little bit this time through. Instead of just that split stance squat, we're going to do a full sort of reverse lunge. So stand all the way up and then take that step back. So reverse lunge is our dynamic movement on this one. Four, three, two, and one. All the way up to the top and step it back. Yep. Awesome. Pushing hard through that front leg. We're going to balance things out in just a moment. Five, four, three, two, one. When you come back up to the top, I want you to find that standing plank. T tuck the hips under. Tuck the rib cage down towards the hips to lock in that hold. We've got under 10 seconds, and then we're over to the left side. Here we go. Go ahead and load up. Left foot is forward, right foot is back, and hold. That back knee is nice and close to the ground. Shoulders stay down and back here. Keep everything nice and level. Again, we're going to do full reverse lunges for our dynamic movement. In four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Big step back here. And remember, we get a little bit of a break from those standing planks because we're going to be down to the mat for our goose ridges. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Weights to the side, down to the mat to get ready for a goose break. So remember, we're going to go hold, movement, and hold. And then we're on to a side of plank. Get ready for the first hold. Three, two, and one. Lift the hips high. Squeeze the glutes. Keep the back nice and straight all the way throughout. Don't throw in that arch just to push the glutes higher. You really just want to sort of stand your ground and feel super steady and strong with this hold. Four, three, two, and one. Is this a movement? Drop the hips to the mat. Top down and then squeeze and right back up to the top. Keep holding strong. These glute bridges are sort of engaging all of the muscles that we've already been using. Get ready for that whole three, two, and one. Lift the hips nice and high and hold. This is it for legs to the ground. We're going to get ready for that right side plank. In 10 seconds, keep the hips high. Four, three, two, and one. Hips down, right over to the right side. Side planks, you're lifting those hips up to the sky. Nice straight body lines here. Reach that left hand up to the ceiling. 
We're going to get ready for the hip dip in three, two, and one. Tap down and right back up. All the way down, all the way back up. Keep the body moving. Our active rest is going to be an elbow plank. Stick with it. Come on, five, four, three, two, and one. Over to the center. I want you to lock in that really good form here, that nice straight back. Tailbones down. Straight line from the base of your skull down to the tailbone and across the shoulder blades for another four, three, two, and one. Left side. Keep that body in work mode. Hips stay high. Reach for the ceiling. We're coming up on that next true rest period. All right, here we go. Let's start to move the off hip. Touch the hip down and right back up. Controlled movement all the way through, knowing we're coming up on a break. Down and up, 10 seconds, and then we have one hold and a break. Five, four, three, two, and one, move it to the center. Again, locking in that really good form, nice straight line. Hold on for just a few more seconds. We're closer and closer. Five, four, three, two, and one. Knees tap down and go ahead and take that well-deserved break. You guys, we have one more round to go. Grab some water. Shake the legs out. And just get yourself mentally and physically prepared for this last round. Right. Shaking everything out. No big changes to this round. The only thing that we will adjust again, excuse me, is uh, the lunge. So when we get to the lunges this time, your movement is going to be all the way back through the center and all the way forward. So adding that forward lunge, and just make sure that you have plenty of room around you, okay? Go ahead and grab the weight. We're going to start with that squat. Kettlebell hold, heels down, toes down, nice straight back, two and one, let's go, drop in. Last time through each of these exercises, so try to lock in really good form, get some depth, and just keep reminding yourself that this is it. Last time through, getting ready for some dynamic movement here, four, three, two, and one, here we go. Stand all the way up and then drop the butt down. So you're going to get two things out of this last round. It's going to be a little bit easier to find these exercises and lock it in. But your legs are also tired, so pay attention to form. And of course, use your core for stabilizing. Two and one. Find that standing plank. Lock it in. Don't lose sight of the tightness that you can find in the core here. We're getting ready for that set of deadlifts. Make sure you're not holding your breath during this standing plank. This is about the muscles, not the air. Here we go, three, two, and one. Butt flow. Hinge at the hips and hold the bottom part of that deadlift. Feel the stretch through the hamstrings. Again, this is gonna take some control. Your body's tired. Get ready to move in three, two, and one. Squeeze the glutes up to the top and right back into it. Make sure you're pushing that butt back behind you. This movement is all about the hip hinge. So the soft knees is just to allow the movement, to allow the stretch. Four, three, two, and one. Stand up nice and tall. All right, lock in that active, excuse me, that active rest to keep doing that. All right, we're going to go over to the right side for that lunge. <clears throat> go ahead and load up. Good grip on that weight. Step nice and wide down for the hold. Now remember, our dynamic movement for this is all the way forward, all the way back. The 
that feels like too much at any point. You can either choose to just do the reverse lunge or do the split lunge as well. Three, two, and one, all the way forward, and all the way back. Again, if it feels like too much, I just want you to stick with the reverse lunge or the split lunge. Your legs are tired here, so you're going to feel it. Yes. Four, three, two, and one. Up to the top. Lock it in. Woo. All right. Left side lunges. And we'll be done with the standing portion of this workout. Tuck the tailbone. Tighten the core. Go ahead and load up. Left foot forward, right foot back, get low. Hold up, body super steady. Your legs are probably shaking at this point. Ready to be done, but fight through it. Deep breath in, keep those shoulders down and back. Really great posture all the way through. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Bring it forward, push, and all the way back. And again, this is up to you how your legs are feeling. If you're not feeling that forward lunge, stick with the reverse. Here we go. Little mini break in four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, kettlebells off to the side. You're done with it. Down to the mat for some glute bridges. You should be feeling all those lower body muscles. Entire core working together here. Get ready for our first hold. Four, three, two, and lift. Hips are high. Squeeze the nose in. Give the legs one last push there. If your legs start to shake during this, just hold strong. This is one that we can sort of allow that. We're not going to hurt ourselves. Nowhere to fall. Go ahead and move. Sit down and press right back up to this feeling. This should feel like maybe one of the harder group bridges that you've had to do. Lift your hips high and right back down. We are so close to be done. Being done with legs. Four, three, two, and one. Hips up and squeeze. This is it. Last hold for the legs. And we're going to go right into that right side plank. We've got 10 seconds. Hold steady, squeeze the glutes, five, four, three, two, and one. Hips down, find that right side plank, and lift. This is it, final couple of minutes of this workout, we'll stretch it out. The good news is, the legs have played their final roll, and they get a little bit of a break. Go ahead and add that hip dip in, hips down, touch, and right back up. Touch down and right back up. Trying to keep the legs fairly straight here. So it really is the obliques that are forcing the hips down and pulling back up. Three, two, and one to the center. Find that elbow plank and lock it in. This is it. Final hold. Keep the hips low. Dial in that posture. Five, four, three, two, and one. Last 60 seconds. We're over to that left side. Elbow plank. Hips are high. Finding good form. Shoulders and hips face forward. All the way through the hold. All the way through the hip dips. Three, two, and one. Tap the hip down and right back up. Again, nice straight body lines here, so that this is all about the obliques. Get that last little bit of work in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Over to the center. Last pull. Keep the butt low. Let the body fight for it. job here. Come on, fight all the way through to the end. Four, three, two, and one. Knees down, hands down. Go ahead and push your butt back over your heels into child's pose. Woo. 
I like this button over here. Take a deep breath in here. Long, slow exhale, appreciating your body for that workout, for that push, for hanging in there. Go ahead and dry yourself up onto all fours with just so that you are comfortable. I'm going to move through our cat cow sequence, working on our breathing pattern. We're still looking at some control here, so that deep breath in as you round your back up to the sky and tuck your chin, tuck the tailbone under, and then as you exhale, tilt the tailbone up towards the sky, hip turns forward, and blend yourself to the which is nice and slow, giving your body some time here to hop into recovery mode. And you start to reach those muscles up, lengthen everything back up. One more deep breath in. Slowly exhale, let go of tension in the shoulders and the neck. And then when you're ready, roll those shoulders up towards the ceiling. 
big shoulder rolls back behind you to loosen everything up. One final shake. And you guys, you're good. Whew, it's sweaty up in here. 